Hi, welcome to the system. We're going to talk about Compass. Yes, Compass is possible on a Linux Mint 18.1 XFCE. That's what we're on. And uh, we can change stuff around. As you can see, Compass has already been activated. But I should warn you, <coughs> Compass is, uh, has many options, but options which are not compatible with each other. So you may end up with a desktop that's not workable anymore and you have to hard reboot it. And then the best thing to do, I think, is reset every Compass setting and try again to figure out how things work and why they clash with each other. So where should we do it in XFCE to set all our Windows Manager? So we have here some of them up here. So this tutorial is all about uh, Windows settings. So I have here the four icons that matter. And we have here a lot of possibilities. So four, uh, pardon, seven uh, possibilities and two are Compton, two compositing and two without shadows and all that. So this one is about Compass. If something goes wrong, that's possible. You reset the Compass settings. I've just done that. And then you get this kind of strange behavior, all normal. And that's okay. So we have now a complete, well, clean out, cleaned uh, default settings of, com of Compass. And now you go ahead via, via this button or just go to the menu and look for the Compass Config Settings Manager or the CCSM. Okay. And then this little message pops up, which is quite important because I'm not kidding. I have been left, I think, in the last week here that I've been exploring Compton and Compass. With Compass, I have had around 20 of those blank screens where you change the setting and then Compass says, wouldn't know what to do, so no menu, nothing at all, and hard reboot. So you're warned, okay, I don't want to see it anymore. What do we get with Compass Native? As you can see, the wobbly is activated. So some of these things have already a uh, tick on it, or you say that, and uh, have been activated. So this is the wobbly window. Window decoration as well has been activated, you see. So these things have been done. Animation as well. Animation is making it open up and close like so. It's going to the other screen and then like so. Minimizing is happens like this, but closing will happen like that and stuff like that. So this is all uh, already activated. As you can see, some of them, well, we don't, wouldn't know what it is and we don't care what it is. But mostly we see things like this in uh, YouTube, on YouTube. So desktop cube, rotate cube. So that is the control alt and then the left key. And then you can change this around. And we have a cube like so. And there's also a possibility, you see that as well, to have 3D windows in front of it what happens you have this window but it's still rather flat on top of the cube you can add some window space between it and at some point in time it works but it depends on the uh, the monitors so if you have one monitor he understands what to do so you have to have um, a setting here let me look where it was again so window depth is this one, uh, corners, back, rotate cube, it's not a rotate cube. Oh yeah, it was I think in here, desktop cube. When I set it to automatic, he doesn't understand since there are two monitors. But I, when I say one big cube, he does know what to do. And, that's, and then you see that our uh, window is floating in front of it and uh, I've, I've made it very far away from the on the cube so it will be less away and so on so all these settings here 
is the least one of our troubles. So window depth to this as well. Okay, so this is the cube. Fine, that works. And um, I'll stop the tutorial here and then go focusing on each one of these th things you can set and settings that will work. Okay. Mm.